Good evening, my friends. Are you here for another spooky story? Then come on in. Suddenly now, for tonight, I have quite the tale to tell. Are you ready? Good. Then let us begin. Tornado season is upon us. And yours truly has already had her fair share of new misses this year. However, I had a co-worker tell me this story that happened to her yesterday, and it was so wild that I simply had to share. Thanks to Selina, not her real name of course, but a pseudonym, for letting me read this on the air. Now gather round and listen well. To nearly gruesome the Snado. Selena is no stranger to tornadoes. Raised in the Midwest, dodging cyclones is just another part of life out here on the open plains. She's had some near misses, mind you, with a tornado knocking in a wall on top of her and her family once several years ago. Thankfully, no one was badly injured. Still, even though she doesn't like them, I feel like her reaction is so typically, hilariously Midwestern that I couldn't help but share it. According to the news yesterday, her town was only supposed to get a few thunderstorms. In fact, the closest metro area only called for a paltry 5% chance of tornadoes. However, there has been some issues with her town and usage of the tornado sirens, so it's surprising that worse did not happen without there being loss of life. She was awoken in her trailer, mobile home for those more used to that term, to her children yelling at her. Mommy, they shouted, the sky's swirling. In her tired haze, she sat up and called back to them to go lay back down, as it was still early and the weather station wasn't calling for much of anything. She pretty much has finely tuned her ears to the tornado sirens at this point, so I suppose her exhaustion had overridden real logic, figuring that... She would hear the sirens in time enough to get to the storm shelter. She had just lain back down when the wind picked up. Picking up a huge 2 by 4 and hurling it with such a force that it impaled the side of her bedroom wall, coming to rest just three inches from her nose. At this point, I believe her senses were dulled enough by some luck or divine intervention so she wouldn't move too much, because if she had shot up at the noise, she would have been decapitated. Instead, she just opens her eyes, registers the plank that's so close she can smell the wet wood, and yells, All right. I guess we're not okay. And what does this tough descendant of pioneers do? Does she freak out, scrambling around to hide, and lose her head in the figurative sense, since she almost lost it literally? Nope. Instead, Selena goes right back to sleep. To be fair, the Gus Nato, as they classified the rotation, passed over her area almost as soon as it hit, so no one was in any more danger. And she did sort of freak out once she woke up, bonked her head on the 2x4 and realized what happened. Fortunately, all the damage was just to material things and she and her family were only a little shaken up. And bless her heart, right after that, she got off to do some repairs on the trailer, some that were expected that day, not just a hole in the bedroom and came right on into work. Welcome to the Midwest, everyone. 
And there you have it, folks. I hope this doesn't deter you from visiting America's breadbasket. They have some of the best climate for runners I've ever seen, with these huge open skies and rainstorms bigger and louder than any I've ever seen. And there's seldom a day that goes by without a nice breeze constantly blowing. And when the lightning strikes, you can see it run for miles, streaking across the sky like ultraviolet veins, as far as the eye can see, making it one of the surrealist experiences to ever witness. Just don't be surprised if the raindrops are so big, you can't tell whether they're small hail at first or not. A big thanks once again to Selena who let me read this. If you enjoyed this story, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch your latest spooky fix the moment it comes out. And check out my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash phantasmal poppy. Also, if you want to be a real pal, comment something nice for the lady whose story I read. She listens to these too. So let's celebrate escaping the Reaper with her. Good night. And see you all real soon.